Hey screen flowers, welcome back to combocasting.com. Today's tip has to do with keeping your screencast or your combo cast dynamic rather than static. I always like to put a little bit of an angle or something interesting for the viewer to look at to keep focus, to keep their interest. One of the ways I like to do that is to add a floating effect to whatever it is you want your viewers to be interested in or to be uh, concentrating on. So I'm just going to show you how I do that and we'll just mock up a short little project here in ScreenFlow and I'll add a floating effect and then you can sort of apply that to your next project, see how you do. So I have a keynote background here. Let's just uh, pull up Sketch and I'm going to capture this. Should be standard 1280 by 720. 1279, that's fine. Okay, so I have a background here. Now I'm going to go to uh, ScreenFlow let's just create a new empty document. Let's close another one. That was another project I was working on recently. Okay, so let's go to Sketch. Sorry, pull up Sketch again. I'll just pull that in here and I'll drop it onto the timeline. Stretch it. So we've got our background here and let's just adjust the dimensions. All right, so we have our background in ScreenFlow. Now let's go to a web page. Might as well just take mine and I'm going to sketch this as well. sure how much I'll use of it but I'll just make it bigger just in case. Alright so now I've got a web page. We'll just assume that that web page is the thing that I want to uh, bring in as a floating effect. Okay so let's zoom in down here. Alright so here's my web page. I'm gonna add a, a bit of a shadow. Okay. Okay so let me tilt that play around with this. Okay, now I'll take it off screen. Go back down to here, add a video action to bring it on the screen. And we'll zoom in a little bit as well. Okay, let's see what we got so far. All right. So now let's say I'm in my screencast, I'm introducing a web page and it comes onto the screen. Well, I can be talking here over this element, but as you can see, it's sort of sitting there. So even though it's got some good angles, it's still a bit uh, static. So I'm going to add another sort of layer of dynamics to that by giving it a floating effect. Um, usually when I bring in an element like this, it's going to stay on for a few seconds and then I'm going to pull it back out. So at this point here, I'm going to add the video action and we'll take it off screen, maybe floating it out that way. So let's see that. Okay, so it's on the screen here. Now I'm talking about my element, you know, I'm making the recording and then I'm moving on to something else and that flies out. So as you can see down here in the video actions for that element, here's my entry and here's my exit. Okay, so let's add a floating effect now. What we're going to do is just go anywhere in the middle here for the time being. I'm going to add a video action and I'm going to make a slight adjustment. Let's do this one bigger. You can do bigger, smaller, maybe even uh, move it over a shift. As you can see, that was really not very much that I did. So now I'm going to pull this right back to when it was introduced on the screen. So let's play it now. So as you can see, there is a little bit of movement. Now watch this. Oops. Don't want to move that. I want to move this. I want to stretch this. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of moving in the background. And I've done this a lot too, where the, you know, the element is just sort of morphing ever so slightly. And that's not bad. That's not exactly what I want for the floating effect. The floating effect, I sort of want it sort of resting on clouds so you'll know that it's sort of 
going uh, back and forth a little bit. So let's move this back down to size and I'm going to add another video effect. And as you can see, uh, ScreenFlow kind of reverts back to a previous size that you had. I can change that, but let's just see how that works as well. So I'm going to squeeze that right back again and we'll see how that comes, up, comes off now. Aha, uh -huh. a little bit more of a floating effect there, but let's add another one. Add a video action, and I'll just do a little bit of adjustment again. I want these, you know, like I said, I want it to be sort of floating, like it's soft. I couldn't make it more jerky, uh, which means a shorter, a shorter burst, but let's see how that works. Uh-huh, that's pretty cool. Let's add another video action. Again, it changed, but do a couple more of these. Stretch them back. I'm just going to move this out a bit more so I can fit another one in there. Add a video action. And then I'll move that last sort of fly out piece right back. So basically, you see what I can uh, see what I'm doing here. I'm adding the video action, and then I'm nudging them together so that there's no uh, stop movement in between them. Let's run through all of those again. All right, and then there we go, and that's it. And keep in mind that this is sort of going to work in concert with the music you have in the background or the audio uh, the audio track that's working and uh, you know how fast you want your uh, whole video to move anyway hope that helps you on your next ScreenFlow project and that's the floating effect in ScreenFlow 3 if you haven't done so yet please sign up for the combo casting series I think it's over there and uh, get some more free video tutorials for ScreenFlow 3 take care ciao Stop texting me for five minutes, please.